Hello, this is my summer Luke boot. So recently my style has seen a resurgence of inspiration from my favorite type of movies, early 2000s cheesy rom-coms, and my tween icon Lizzie McGuire. So in classic Disney Channel fashion, I am wearing a shirt underneath a dress with spaghetti straps. Uh, doesn't this just remind you of the good old days of reinforcing gender stereotypes through the ever-dreaded dress code. <laughs> I paired it with my platform Doc Martens and a mini backpack. I'm also really excited to announce that I am part of the Pandora Creators, a group of female content creators following their passions and just sharing their stories. So this video is sponsored by the iconic jewelry brand Pandora. I'm wearing the Celestial Stars bracelet and the Pave Daisy necklace, pretty much wearing everything I loved as a tween, even down to the earrings with these smiley studs. outfit is something I feel like Jenna Rink would have worn in 13 going on 30. At least that's what someone said on my TikTok. I'm wearing a ribbed baby white crop tee and some python pants. I think the hairstyle and jewelry is what makes it really have that classic early 2000s vibe. I'm wearing these thin silver bracelets and I was actually surprised to know that these bracelets are really flexible and adjustable in size. For my necklace, I'm wearing the mesh choker with a heart charm on it and just a dainty chain necklace for layering purposes. I feel like this outfit is a little bit more for that quintessential token tomboy girl character that they always had as a sidekick to the protagonist. You know, she was kind of like artsy, always athletic, and usually pretty chaotic in spirit. I don't know, I always resonated with her too. I'm wearing this thrifted men's t-shirt that I got for $4, as well as these trousers I thrifted for I think less than $10. And all my jewelry here is really quite the opposite. It's pretty minimal and just focused on this chain link theme that I got going on from my ring to my necklace and my bracelet. If I could go back and do prom, this is definitely something I would wear. This vintage inspired slip dress I got from a Korean indie brand is made sweatshop free and is one of my favorite dresses. To make it a little bit more casual though, I paired it with my docs and a stack of different bracelets. I think the key here is to have different widths and styles of bracelets. For example, my favorite is this one with chunky links and you can actually customize it by adding your own personal charms. I have the pride symbol, a lightning bolt, a Hamza hand, and I just think it's really really cute and I'm just wearing the necklaces or the choker that you saw before. I think this is more of like channeling the mean girl vibe, you know, the girl that probably has unresolved emotional wounding from her toxic mother and unconsciously projects all of her insecurities onto other women as a result. Yeah, I think this is that vibe. I'm just wearing a cropped baby tee again and a bodycon leopard cotton skirt and these vintage red platform heels. I swear my mom growing up only ever wore this type of heel and I get it now, mom. They're so comfortable. I'm wearing the two chain bracelets as well as a chain ring and this cute little daisy crown ring and for my necklace it's just a really dainty chain necklace again because uh, as you can tell I really like chains <laughs> that's it thank you so much for watching be sure to check out Pandora and their jewelry and everything I wore in the description box below and I will see you guys in my next one bye